abusia for yamamu akwa baba akroma tv gh uye ni uchire channel wa bomo din sha obe subscribe like the video no share ni ala e e libe u comment abusia vector mamud ba u miya huwa dance ye na mp before guso o mada su dino huwa dance ye with ni vision ene ye se de wesma plan se obe bua gana eno huwa dance ye na mp before di ma still na gana fu bi bre ene endi si fwa ni rezi da out se especially eh 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 the opposition na omo ye endi si mahama even Mahama Kasaba Baumia, a more rigid outside Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, as vice president of Ghana right now, and Nanado as the president. No, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, I will say, I will the winning of the country. No, to another Nanado, both, both, another Nanado, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, and Nanado, and our Kabuma, to see your Muri or mine, and our man of Muri, to see him, and Boa, or my say, say, my economy, and I basa, school, and I basa. In some way, now NDC in opposition, other people are going to citizens in the Nam no Moka. This is the MP before Naba Bontin. On my group, to say the Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, Etimiaka, part in a bomb, Mama, to say, to say, part in a back to the MPP and the Nomino. Now, this year, and some more can say, and yes, I'm a tea. Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, we need track record there, yeah, but see a check it from Nanado Pens, Tama Nanado Betnas on the last years, not to a data. Some and all the policies and all the cars were better. No, what Timia complete should be brain. I'm a dear council that's so good. So, a bit is a free education and a dear can win and allow the damn quiet me every any rules with Timia constructing better rules for Ghanaians and Yanon Kwana, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, and Cecilia now on us obey a flag bearer. Now, the obey a flag bearer. So, she wants to do the policies. I bet you that like father like son, son and another a year. The elected on us flag bearer and check three, four, five days here. She see on the day. The policy is not be able to do. Now, be before nature say, you say NDC for some concentrating on their party cause. I might elect some flag bearer that are about basing them. Still, the young policies are doctor. Sorry, policies are Mahama. You are Mahama Pesa or the big apostle. And I say, 2024. So, I'm not talking about mana. They've been a one two mana. Then I see them. So, I saw your magana for basing a Mahama and Timba and Timba Casa and Farm. So I'm about one thing, and some of my kind are about me and some. No more about me. Actually, instead, some of them are police in the good. This year, Ghana, this year, about me and the police is about digitization. Need them that are no get what I can. So, so we are be be digitize or digitize be be am be be digitize. Not just be be a fool. I'm a Ghana for to my for my young toy. I'm sure. So when the MP before you have been said, Doctor Mahmoud, about me, you man a chance. I'm not saying you man a chance. I said, "Well, no, no, no." I said, "Mamu, I'm going to say, 'Kuyi, I'm going to be your adventure.' The young people who hear video, I said, 'The MP before she met the boy, I'm going to dance.'" And I'm going to have it to break the eight. And so, thank you very much for for what they have done. And as I said, we have work to do, so we are up and doing. And um, you were asking whether he was going to break the eight. Yes, he is. And if you are doing a comparison between him. And the former president, uh, John Mahama, I believe Dr. Babamia will come out tops. We are going to compare both of them when they were vice presidents. Fortunately, unlike uh, previously when Mr. Mahama was saying that if you've not been vice president or president, don't talk to me about governing the country. Now, Dr. Babamia has experienced seven years. Mm -hmm. By next year, it will be eight years experience mm -hmm. as vice president. And we'll just suppose that with um, Mr. Mohammed, is it four and a half years experience as vice president and then his four years experience as president. Mm -hmm. But more at their time as vice president. And I believe when we do that, definitely Dr. Baumia is the best from the side. And he's, I mean, Ghanaians are very discerning people. They are going to actually sit down and, and do a proper introspection and look at the two political parties. Let's not forget by next year, mm -hmm. both political parties and that the current fourth, rep is a fourth Republican? Um, fourth Republic, yes. There's the, well, the, the current fourth Republic would have done 16 years each. Mm -hmm. NDC would have done 16 years. MPP by next year would also have done 16 years. So it's not just the individuals that we are going to um, compare, the individuals as in the flag bearers. Mm -hmm. We are going to also compare the, hi the, the, the history and the progress of both parties in the last 16 years that they have been in power. And I think when we do that, and if this election is going to be purely based on issues, mm -hmm. as it should be, 
the economy, education, agriculture, all the things of governance that it should be. Dr. Baumia is going to come top. So if you're asking me if he's going to break the eight, yes, he's going to break the eight. What are his qualities that makes you think that he is the right candidate? As they all said, Dr. Baumia and the president said in the victory speech on Saturday, the MPP needs just about, I believe we need just about two things. And they mentioned it, unity. Mm. On Saturday, uh, other contenders also showed this unity. Uh, some people were not even expecting Mr. Kennedy or Japan to even show up because of the sort of campaign that had gone on. And uh, we have to also say, uh, congratulate him, because some people didn't give him a dog's chance. Some of us did, because we know how he has helped his people, especially in the central region. So we knew he could. He could pull a surprise. When you say some people, who are those people? Oh, Ababu Within the party? Yes, of course. Mm. People did not think Abu uh, Japan could go further. But to Ghana, 37% or so. 38% in this. Yeah. He's done very, very well. And um, as he said himself, the elections were free, they were mm -hmm. fair, they were without violence. So definitely, our delegates chose the best person at this time whom they believe can lead the party. Into, into, into electoral victory. And you are asking what time is Dr. Baumia's qualities? Mm -hmm. Number one, he's a unifier. He's been able to bring all of them, those who competed with him on board. And if you worked with him on the campaign, you realize that spirit of unification. When people threw jabs at him, the Kennedy camp were throwing jabs, the Akoto camp, everybody was throwing jabs. He would call those of us who actually speak for him that do not go answering those jabs. Mm. I am winning. And if I win, I'll need all those people. Yes, I mean, when you are in poor position for any, in anything, people will throw, will throw things at you. Concentrate on the work. Focus. And that is one thing that I believe he has that people do not really notice that he's a very focused person. Mm. He knows exactly what he wants and he'll push you and his whole team to get what he wants. So that is one of the, of the, of the things that I believe that, yes, he's a unifier. He's got fearing. He's, he brings people together. One of the reasons why I believe that he's going to win is because he has a vision. What is his vision? And he started... He, he has a huge one. The very first one that he mentioned uh, on Saturday that I picked was one he wanted us to, he, the youth as is going to be his major focus. And in the speech he said it, that all the youth should come on board. We have a huge theming population mm -hmm. full of youth. We have to take advantage of the new technological things that are showing up. And he did mention robotics, he did mention coding, he did mention a lot of things that are going on all over the world that Ghanaian youth can also take care of. Yes, the foundation has been built. Just recently, I believe the... Why, is it why mm -hmm. Yes, where could you Kofi Japan is? Kofi Japan and his... His YE have started training some of our people, the young people who applied in getting into these technological um, survey things. And he intends to do that. Another thing he mentioned, and just two that he mentioned on Saturday, that he wanted us to be a country that has food security. Because when your people are hungry, uh, that is the basics. People, <laughs> a hungry person is an angry person. Mm -hmm. We need to be able to keep all the food and everything that we are doing through all the projects, the pro, um, planting for food and jobs, all these things bring up food and it goes waste because we don't have any way of keeping it. So one of the things he mentioned in his speech that I am very interested in is the fact that he wants us to be uh, a country that has, um, that is food secure and we are using digitalization to achieve that. Mm. How he intends to do that, I'm sure he will expand, expand it on it as we go along. And um, by, and I'm sure in the next few weeks, the other things he intends to do and uh, as the flag bearer of the NPP and as president will come up. But at least these two things that he touched on, the young people of this country and the fact that we need to get food at all times are one of the things that I believe, at least he would started, off, would, he started mm. off with that, with his vision. And just like Nanado did, by 2012, when Nanado was picked, mm -hmm. Um, as a flag bearer. We already knew, everybody in this country knew exactly what Nanado wanted to do. If he had asked, what do you want to do? The first thing that will come into your head, uh, free SHS. Of course, our brothers and sisters on the other side, I believe, uh, um, sponsored adverts, over 100 adverts saying that uh, free SHS was a scam. But at least we knew what Mr. 
I could find no one to do. But there are challenges do. at the moment. Um, nobody has nobody we have all spoken. Agreed nobody that has there spoken needs about to be a review of free SHS. Nobody has. We haven't all agreed on that. Nobody you don't has think said that it should be reviewed. Nobody has said there is no challenges. You what don't we, what think we it are, should be reviewed. What we are talking about is the vision of the people who are leading this country, or the vision of the flag bearers. And I'm saying, just that about me, just like the president, mm -hmm. has a clear vision of what he wants. In 2012, we all knew what Nanado wanted to do. And as uh, it is with every human institution, of course, there will be challenges. Whether there should be a review or not, that one, I believe the Ministry of Education, the last time the Minister of Education spoke about mm -hmm. this, he said there were a lot of things going on that were making sure that some of the challenges were being solved. But at least that system, and I don't talk about it. Okay. It is in the same vein that Dr. Baumia also feels that we should be a food secure nation led by digitalization. He feels that young people should be brought on board. It okay. is a vision. The other person on the other side, we still don't know his vision. And well, that well, is what he, I'm he trying has to say.